And once again, here it is time for Nonsense and Nostalgia on KPCS. I'm Dale Mondrain. I'll be here for the next hour bringing you music and merriment from the old days of radio. During this hour, we're going to focus on the years 1929 and 1930 and the talents of people like Rudy Valley, Al Jolson, Connie Boswell, Libby Hoffman, and our first tune from 1929, Benny Moten doing South. Radio has come a long way since 1922 when radio station WEAF in New York broadcast the first sponsored program for a local real estate corporation. It took big business to transform radio from a small time attraction broadcasting the presidential election and football games in 1920 and grossing less than $2 million in radio sales into the slick money maker of 1929 where radio sales rose to more than $600 million. And in that year of 1929, this man was a star. I ho everybody, this is Rudy Valley and Company. We earnestly crave your attention as we strive earnestly to please. <laughs> If your ear notices an unusual quality of afterbeat, it's produced by an electric banjo, the first of its kind as far as we know in any broadcast. Our famous Yale banjoist Sleepy Hall is playing it tonight, and we will feature Sleepy later on in our third dance spot, Trust in Me. knows all the answers let's put our heads together for with our heads together we'll know the answers
Rudy Valley from 1929. In that same year of 1929, we pick up our local newspaper and check the radio programs for that evening. We see that at 5.30 p.m. on radio station WEAF, the Philco Hour presents the Philadelphia Orchestra. At 8 o'clock on WJZ, we can hear energetic melodies. At 8.30 on WEAF, Chase and Sanborn present the Chorale Orchestra with Phil Ullman and Victor Arden in a piano duo. At 9.15 on WEAF, Atwater Kent presents Hazel Arth Contralto and Ted Ray Tenor. At 8 o'clock on WEAF, you could hear Frank Bauer and this lady. Eileen Stanley from 1929. And we'll have more from the early days of radio after this. Have you ever had a problem with cockroaches? Did it make you wish you were a flamenco dancer? A really good flamenco dancer? You could have danced all night, right? And even then, it's hit or miss. Well, for a more efficient way to control roaches and other pests, inside the house or out, write for the free leaflet, Pesticide Do's and Don'ts, to the National Audubon Society, 953rd Avenue, New York, New York, 10022. That's National Audubon Society, 953rd Avenue, New York, New York, 10022. And save your dancing for fun. I'm Dale Mondre, and you're listening to KPCS. The year is 1929, and these next two performers were known as headliners way back then. How do you do, everybody? How do you do? Though we're known as Jones and Head of all of you. We're two loafers now, it's said, representing tasty bread. How do you do, 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 do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? do, 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 do. I'm 
Billy Joe. I'm Ernie Hare, and we're a silly looking pair. How do you do, 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 do? Say, Bill, what's the idea of all the acrobatics you're doing, ducking your head and kicking up your heels? You're acting like you're crazy. Uh, can you imagine that, Ernie? It's, it's a fly flying around here, bothering the life out of me. Oh, a fly bothering you, yeah. do, do you want me to shoo it? No, no, don't bother. Let him run around on his bare feet, Ernie. <laughs> hey, look at it. Look at it. It's an awful beak fly, too. It, it looks like a horse fly. Well, what's a horse fly doing flying around me? I well, don't... it's pretty hard to fool those horse flies, you know. <laughs> We're acquainted with a loving pair, and once a year he'll kiss her and say, dear, I'm going to be home early today, dear. It is quite important, I declare, so let's dress for dinner tonight. We've been married just a year tonight. We can hold the Joneses and we'll all go together, so let's dress for dinner tonight. We'll do the evening in style. First we'll dine and dance a little while. Then we'll go and see the show and hold hands together. Oh, we'll do the evening in style. At 12 o'clock we'll disappear. We'll both pretend we're very tired, dear. I'm sure the folks will pardon us. For after all, there's lots of things that mean to discuss. Let's dress for dinner tonight. Spend a second honeymoon tonight. We should celebrate this great occasion together. So let's dress for dinner tonight. Let's dress for dinner tonight. We've been married just a year tonight. We can phone the Joneses and we'll all go together. So let's dress for dinner tonight. We'll do the evening in style. First we'll dine and dance a little while. Then we'll go and see a show and hold hands together. Or we'll do the evening in style. At 12 o'clock we'll disappear. We'll both pretend we're very tired, dear. I'm sure the folks will pardon us. For after all, there's lots of things we must discuss. Let's dress for dinner tonight. Spend a second honeymoon tonight. We should celebrate this great occasion together. So let's dress for dinner tonight. Yeah, they were known as the first team to sing a commercial jingle on the air. Billy Jones and Ernie Hare, the Happiness Boys. In 1929, this lady made her movie debut in On With The Show. She also cut this record with the Dorsey Brothers. Down in the pool room, some of the gang were talking of gals they knew. Women are all the same, said Joe. One dizzy bird said, pal, ain't you heard the story of true blue loo? Listen and get an earful bow. Say, she was a dame in love with a guy. She stuck to him but didn't know why. Everyone blamed her, still they all named her True Blue Blue. He gave her nothing, she gave him all. But when he had his back to the wall, who fought to save him, smiled and forgave him, true blue blue. He got a break and went away to get a new start. But poor kid, she never got a break except the one way down in her heart. Maybe somewhere in heaven above There's a reward for that kind of love Angels won't blame her They too will name her True Blue Blue But gosh, that poor kid, she never got a break except the one 
way down in her heart. But maybe somewhere in heaven above, there's a reward for that kind of love. Angels won't blame her, they too will name her true. During the 1929 Academy Award nominations, Warner, Baxter, and Mary Pickford walked away with Best Actor and Actress Oscars, while Broadway Melodies took Best Picture. It was the last year for silent pictures and the first time that a local radio station in Los Angeles covered the awards. It was also a big year for this man. The others you've met may call you coquette, but I'll always call you sweetheart they think of coquette as something to pass but I think of you as sweetheart they say you're a devil with wonderful charms but I held an angel at night in my arms so try and forget the name of Coquette and only remember Crosby. On October 29, 1929, known as Black Tuesday, the stock market fell and we were in a depression. Many entertainers lost everything and had to start from scratch, like this next gentleman, who had won fame in the Ziegfeld Follies. And now he was able to make fun of his losses and still keep them smiling. The man, of course, Eddie Cantor, the year 1929. I've been a lonely one, I'm not the only one, others have been lonely too. Maybe it had to be, he but it's bad to be, feeling unhappy and blue. Everything's different today, good luck is coming my way. I'm looking up at the sky, I see the clouds rolling by. Hello, sunshine, hello. I'll say you long overdue, how I've been looking for you. Hello, sunshine, hello. And what if I've been gloomy? 
listen to me I'll never be that way again I know That certain someone is mine That's why I want you to shine Hello sunshine, hello Welcome I know that you're really for me I know that you're gonna war me now Welcome Every little ray you sprinkle Helps to straighten out my wrinkled brow Sun rays, your bright rays Mean bright days And how I'm looking up at the sky See the clouds rolling by Hello sunshine, hello You've been long overdue And I've been looking for you Hello sunshine, hello And don't forget this Sunday That's the one day That's the day I'm gonna need you so For when they play low and grin That's when you come pouring in Hello, hello sunshine, hello He was known as Banjo Eyes The great Eddie Cantor Joni Mosby Thousands of widows of men who died in service and wives of men who were disabled in service or are missing in action or prisoners of war are preparing themselves for a better income. Educational benefits are provided by the Veterans Administration. The education is open to widows and wives of servicemen from all wars. This is Joni Mosby saying, if you're one of these eligible women, find out how you can get started back to school and get paid while you go. Check with your nearest VA office today. They'll give you information and assistance. This next man was a good friend of Eddie Cantor's and was known as the Schnoz. He worked his way up from a piano player in a band to owning his own club during the 20s. By 1929, the name of Jimmy Durante was a household word. Here he is with friend Al Jolson. Mr. Rembrandt needed a piece of canvas before he could paint a thing. Benvenuto Cellini needed a chisel before he could start sculpturing. And folks, Jolie needed a great piano player before he can start to sing. Al, stop worrying. I'm here. Go ahead. Let your voice start to ring. Jay James, do you play a compliment? A compliment? Never heard of that song. How does it go? No, I mean, can you be, uh, play classic stuff like Levant or Jose Turby? I'm even better. Can Jose I Turby play this? Or 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 this? Ah, uh, Jose, make way for Nose. <laughs> Why, Jimmy, you're sensational. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Cause it's a thrill. When a real piano player sits down at the keys, it makes him weak in the knees to hear him. Oh, what a kick! When a real piano player starts to tinkle away, it makes a boy slide again. myself. Well, I can understand your bliss. Don't get excited, Al. Compose yourself. But Levant was never like this. Listen close. Oh, hear those harmonies. You know, this is very tiring. I can play with all my might. Here's a dollar, kid. Don't stop. Keep playing all night. Cause it's a thrill. When a real piano player sits down and has the keys Two beers upstairs Bring them right up, sir And you'll notice, Mr. Jolton, I don't need Larry Parks to play the black keys <laughs> I've been sad Keep going, boy Let's hear that beat Make that old piano smolder with heat. He can't resist it. Just look at him shake. Take the break. <laughs> Paderewski, I turby. 
Well, guys, I admire it. But Forget them all, son. Name your prize, James, you're hired. What, what a thrill. When a real piano player sits down at the key. What a team. Jimmy Durante and Al Jolson. In 1929, the big names in sports were Red Grange, Newt Rockney, Gene Tunney, Bill Tilden, Helen Wills, a horse named Man of War, a golfer named Bobby Jones, and a ball player named Babe. In 1929, there was also an entertainer who was known as the world's greatest blues singer, the lady, Bessie Smith. Bessie Smith. You're listening to the Dale Mondre Nonsense and Nostalgia show here at 89.3 FM KPCS in Pasadena. You know, 1929 also saw the collapse of something thought of as synonymous with the Roaring Twenties, the speakeasy. Yeah, that was the place where many of the top-notch performers of the 30s and 40s got their start, like this next gentleman, Mr. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong on KPCS. That's going to end our 1929 series. And with the close of the 20s, our nation went into a depression, and the mood of the people changed. We're going to go into the 1930s now and see how the Boswell sisters would handle it from 1930. When the crimson sun sinks in the west, that's nature's signal to cease your toil and rest. We have no slumber song handy, but we know our audience would have no objection to being awakened by the three Boswell sisters crooning the Song of the Dawn. Dawn is great and a new day Sun 
tells everyone Come and start life anew Sing hallelujah For the dark night is The Boswell Sisters from 1930. In that same year, All Quiet on the Western Front won the Oscar for Best Picture, and Best Actor and Actress went to George Arliss and Norma Shearer. As vaudeville died a silent death, we see the appearance on radio of greats like Belle Baker, who was billed as the female Al Jolson. Cheer up, see what you think. Great Belle Baker. Next up, from the Broadway hit of 1930, The Little Show, we hear the star Libby Hoffman singing Moanin' Low. He's 
a kind of man needs a kind of woman like me. Gonna die if sweet man should pass me by. If I die, where will he be? He's a kind of man needs a kind of woman like me. Don't know any reason why he treats me so poorly. What have I gone and done? Makes my trouble double with his worries when surely I ain't deserving of none. Bone in low, my sweet man is gonna go if he goes, oh lordy. He's a kind of man, needs a kind of woman like me. And that was Libby Hoffman, Moan and Low, and we'll be back with more nonsense and nostalgia after this. Miss Armstrong? Miss Armstrong? Yes? May I ask you a few questions? Well, I am rather rushed. It'll only take a minute. Oh, all right. Thank you. Miss Armstrong, I hear you're going into seclusion for the most important production of your life. What's it going to be? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but how do you prepare for something without knowing what it is? Oh, my doctor will help me. You see, this is very different from my other roles. Oh, and I must follow all of his orders. Your doctor? Yes. First, I must set up regular appointments with him, uh -huh. eat well-balanced and nourishing meals, exercise moderately, uh -huh. and stay away from all pills and other medications, except those prescribed by him. What does that have to do with the performing arts? Oh, everything. The preparation for any performance requires discipline. You see, I'm preparing for a baby. With my doctor and the March of Dimes to coach me, I won't miss a cue. Oh, and I already know the most important line. What's that? The March of Dimes says, be good to your baby before it is born. Next up on KPCS, Jan Garber and Babyface.
You sure have started something, baby, baby. I'm up in heaven when I'm in your fond embrace. I didn't need a shout, cause I 